Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramlu. Today's topic is range energy relation. Okay, range energy relation of alpha particle. It is in nuclear physics from nuclear physics only. And dear friends, before watching this video, please subscribe. Don't forget it. Keep it. Keep in mind. Range energy. So that means we are going to get the relation between R and E only. That is range energy relation, or sometimes we call it is Geiger's law. Geiger's law, right? We know that the range of alpha particles is the distance travelled by these particles through air at a pressure of 76 cm of mercury and at a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius before they lose their energy such that they cannot uh, produce further ionization. It is a definition of range energy relation what he is what is range range it is range definition we know that range of alpha particle is uh, see the distance traveled how much distance traveling distance traveled by the these particles through air let is traveling through air and uh, pressure is how much 76 cm of mercury and temperature at what pre temperature present 15 degrees celsius temperature has to present when before they losing their energy while it is traveling in the air what happened they continuously lose uh, energy then temperature has to present this much and the pressure has to present this much okay then such that they cannot produce further ionization so while it is ionizing continuously and traveling then later when traveling certain distance later it cannot ionize even though it travels but cannot ionize the distance from where it started to ionize the particles to uh, lose their energy completely that distance is called range and at what temperature 76 pressure temperature must be present at 15 degrees celsius the range of alpha particle depends upon the initial velocity of alpha particle and the nature of the emitting radioactive element and the nature and the pressure of gas nature of gas and pressure of gas or nature of absorber also see alpha particle range depending upon three factors first factor is initial velocity if it is traveling with high speed high velocity then it I, it has high range it high traveling lower speed it travel it has low range so that means range depends upon its velocity and nature of the emitting radioactive substance nature okay how it is emitting whether it is emitting uh, with high energy particle or low energy particle next and the nature of the gas and pressure of the gas so the if the alpha particle is traveling in which a medium that must contain the gas okay so that uh, na it's a gas nature and its a pressure also depends on range and a nature of absorber also right nature of absorber means gas particle absorption geiger found that the range of r is uh, proportional to the cube of the velocity of emission r is directly proportional to r, r is directly proportional to cube v cube so he is saying r is proportional to cube of velocity so cube of velocity uh, remove uh, this uh, proportionality right equal and constant this is a constant here the above relationship is exactly exact when velocity within certain limits corresponding to the range between 3 and 8 centimeter it is this relation is not central here this is valid only alpha particles traveling in between the 3 centimeter to 8 centimeter only right beyond it it cannot valid less than it it cannot valid okay but so that is it is not general equation when the velocity is lower than the above limits okay above limits then what happens r is directly proportional to v power 3 by 2 for higher velocities r is directly proportional to v power 4 okay for lower velocities this for higher velocity this for average velocity this is uh, we know that energy of we know that the energy e of emitted particle is directly proportional to square of the velocity so that means a particle has to move moving means has kinetic energy e only that total energy is e half mv square so it is from equation so equation 2 so equation 2 is like this and it is written as 
uh, in this manner v is equal to v square is equal to and from this finally v is equal to okay let it is equation 3 substitute equation 3 in equation 1 what is equation 1 this is equation 1 in the place of v substitute this one so when we substitute then what we get we get this one only okay if you substitute here then we get this one and uh, take outside except e uh, take remaining this side so this uh, factor is simply replaced by one constant as a b and c r is equals to uh, b e power 3 by 2 so this is r means energy r means range e means energy so that is why it is called range energy relation or geiger's law okay friends